Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, whenever you're ready. What? Whenever oh. you're ready. All right, Jim. It's a little dark, Jimmy. I have to speed this up. Stop the dilly dallying. Well, I'll try to talk louder then. We're here at the Virginville Film Festival up here in uh, Hamburger. Hamburg. Hamburg. That's funny. We're in Virginville. You know, we're 48 miles from Intercourse. <laughs> I looked it up. Anyway, we're here. We got a couple movie films in we're going to be looking at tonight. Um, Euripides can take a look around, see there's a pretty good crowd. We've been handing out popcorn and whatnot and, you know, glad handing everybody. They got some good beer here. What kind of beer they got here again? It's a Bel Belgian white ale. It sure is. I'm on my fourth one. It's very good. So they're getting ready to start showing the films here. Village of Hamburg, huh? Hamburg, yes. That's where they invented a hamburger, you think? No. No? No. And it's not where the Hamburglar originally lived. You don't think so? No. Because uh, Grimaceville's right up the pike. He's, he's natural enemies in the wild. <laughs> Isn't your brother Ronald McDonald? No. No, he's not. He played one once on TV, but I don't know. I'm running out of shit to say. <laughs> well, don't you have someone you want to talk to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is Mr. Hi. Pruger here. He's got to film in here, too, on the, uh, the film festival. It's called Brogue. Yes, that's right. And, oh, can you tell us a little bit about what the movie is about? you have to forgive me. This is the first interview I ever really oh, technically no. done. So. That's fine. Uh, it's about uh, four guys who all have different accents trying to woo a woman, and they argue about which one's the best accent to get girls. Now, when you say woo, um, what does that exactly mean for any of our viewers who might not be familiar with that term? Um, it means to, like, try and get them to go on a date with you. All right, then. So these, Jimmy, have you ever been on a date? These all trying to get in their pants. I've been on dates before. Really? None of them into all that good, really. They usually just run off screaming in the woods. J Jimmy, Jimmy. Because that's usually where my dates happen. J Jimmy, you're, you're, I get them just that close, but then they run off. They get away. It's always because I'm not good at tying knots. J so. Jimmy, you, your, your brother Jeffy told me you'll be uh, right at home in Virginville. Is that correct? Well, no, not necessarily, really. Um. <laughs> I know what you're getting at, you bastard. <laughs> That's a mean brother you got there. Yeah, it, well, you rip it, he thinks he's clever. But anyway, when are they going to start showing the films? Shortly, it's getting dark. It is getting dark, and there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, do you have any more questions for me or anything? Um, where did you buy that shirt? Yeah, it was a gift from my wife. It's, it's a very nice shirt. And what the pin on your shirt, what does that say? Uh, Virginville Film Festival. Okay. You going to close in on that? That's a good shot right there. Now, we got somebody else with us here who also has a film in the film festival. Uh, you might want to grab the camera here. Uh, Euripides has even got a film in oh, with really? 81st Street Productions. Oh, congratulations. Isn't that right? Which movie do we have in for you? My, my, my film is called Ironicality. And it is about uh, a man and his struggle with the will to live. So he's got to leave a will after he's done living, right? No, 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 no. He, 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 he is trying to decide whether he wants to kill himself or not. So in the will, it's going to say whether or not he did and then whether or not the insurance is going to cover it. And then people that he leaves the money behind, they're going to get it, right? No, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy, you're uh, way off the mark there. This is about to start showing the movies. Um, watch, you don't fall over. Um, we're still here with Mr. Pruger. What, what, what uh, order are the films being shown in? What number of film are you? Uh, 27. That's a lucky number for some, I think. I'm uh, 23. And, and you, okay, 81st Street Productions is number 23. Now, the word brogue, yes. what does that mean? Uh, that actually has two definitions. Uh, it means uh, any type of accent or specifically an accent from Scotland, Ireland, you know, in the UK. So it's not about need to be fixed or having stuff that's been broken. It, it doesn't mean anything like that because it sounds like the word broke to me. No. No. Is is about running out of money? No. Because every time I run out of money, I'm broke. 
I, I ran out of money making this film. Uh, approximately, what was your budget for this uh, film? Uh, Twenty dollars. Well worth that every. Doesn't, that doesn't include the 150. That doesn't include the 150 dollars I put into his film. Oh, so we got some cross pollination going on here between two different films. That's good to see people working together and networking like that. And we're also, we see all these people here. We're networking with them too. We've been glad handing and greasing the palms. He was handing out popcorn earlier. That was a good idea you boys had. I didn't get any myself. And I'm, I am hungry. I'm not thirsty though. I had a, I had some voles nesting in this earlier. I had to kick them out. Yeah, I, I, yeah. They was giving me trouble. I had I, I, I've seen the man pull a six, six foot sub out of his beer before. Yeah, um, anyway. Can, you think uh, we could talk about maybe uh, doing a documentary on you and your beard? Yeah, we could call it From Hair to Eternity. <laughs> It'd be, I like that. Did, yeah, you, did you see the episode where Jimmy shaved? No, I did not. Yeah, there would, it, there'd be dozens of people lining up to see that. I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we should wrap this up because I can barely see you. Yeah, we should, because yeah, I've run out of room. Oh, thanks, anyway. Jimmy. Appreciate it. Yeah, hey, you, thank you very much. We're going to have a good time here tonight. We're going to look at the movie films. and Oh, they're starting right now. we got to go. All right, then.